Oh, hi there, everyone. We are back with Pokemon White, episode 82. I forgot how short the last time's episode ended up being because I wasn't paying attention to the time. So, super sorry about that. This time, I hope to get inside of Victory Road because that would be really pleasant. So, Fluffy is at 45, so I'm wondering if I should switch out to somebody else. Probably Auburn because he does need the experience. I don't kind of think... I kind of think he doesn't just because he levels up like the fastest on my team. I don't care what I said before. He's got like two types, both of which are extremely offensive. By offensive, I mean, like, powerful, not offensive. Like, <gasps> he's a firefighting type! That offends me, good sir. How dare you? So, yeah, Fluffers, you can... Actually, Clyde needs experience most, because Clyde levels up the slowest now that I think about it. Or at least it seems like that, because in the Dragon Gym, Clyde got his ass whooped all over. Is there, like... Oh, is that bad? Yeah, I was wondering. There's, like, no uh, females on my team. I'm like, ah, I feel sexist. Not really, because of that bet. You are here to make up for the uh, lack of female stuff. And scope lens for Lucky Egg. Why would I give Clyde the scope lens? I mean, Clyde doesn't have any critical stuff for that. Ah, anyways. Ah, ranting aside, battle now. First Pokemon is Maractus. Second Pokemon is Alamula. And the final Pokemon is Crygonal. Well, there's the LP curse again. I say Clyde levels up the slowest, and Clyde takes up with Pylon as being the highest. Uh, Clyde's on par with Pylon. Yeah, why does this annoy me? It shouldn't. I should be happy that Clyde is awesome. Because Clyde is awesome. So let's take out Clyde's lucky egg and give it back to Auburn, who probably needs it right about now. Feeling I'm the slowest leveler on the team. Isn't that right, Auburn? No, he doesn't. He still knows that it's true that he does the most damage. He's got great coverage, though, seriously. Wait, who the he Oh, jeez, it's a rival battle. Is there- is it- uh, no, it's not. What? I could have sworn there was a rival battle right after the gym battle. Oh, okay. Anyways, who's talking? Uh, I, I can't see. I think it's Tyrion. I'm gonna hope it's Tyrion. Raiden and Professor Juniper tell me you're heading for the Pokemon League, right? Yeah. Okay, now it's Tyrion. Since it's Alder, since it's the champion, I think it will be alright. Worst case scenario, you'll be battling Team Plasma Boss N. I need to know if you can handle it. And so here is the rival battle I predicted. I mean, I predicted it would happen, I just wasn't sure where it would happen. I could have sworn it was like right outside Opulent City, but this is kind of outside of Opulent City. I would have thought I'd gotten farther than this, but I... whatever. Kind of glad this isn't part of the last episode. Oh gosh, there's still juice on the floor. I mean, um, Pokemon game. Yeah, pay attention to that. So, first Pokemon is on Pheasant, which is nothing too scary. Uh, I probably should switch out, but I don't feel like it. So, hey, what's the worst that could happen? Ouch, okay, okay, I don't have any defense, so that's probably going to KO me right there. Yep, called it. Oh, it was a critical too. Yeah, Unpheasant has the ability Super Luck along with its high critical ratio on the Air Slash attack. Wait, no, Air Slash doesn't have high critical, it just has a chance to flinch you. Anyway, Super Luck means um, Unpheasant gets critical hits more often than other Pokemon. So, let's go over to, since uh, half my team is injured, and the only two remaining Pokemon that can battle are Zapet or Fluffers, I'm going to go to Zapet. Zapet's super effective here, so this shouldn't be too hard. Let's go for a Thunder. Ah, thankfully I'm faster. And Kentucky Fried Dun Pheasant just occurred. Awesomeness. And he only has about four or three Pokemon left, I believe. Simmy's here is the next Pokemon, but thankfully it's not going to be faster than me. Even if it is, it's... Oh god, this is going to burn. If he if he's faster than me, I'm in trouble. Awesomeness. He's not faster than me, so I just burnt his monkey. Well, Electrified. Holy crap, it survived. That's a bulky monkey. And balls to my face. I might just lose this battle, because it's going one for one so far. Uh, let's hope Clyde can... No, wait, that thing goes crunch, doesn't it? Son of a biscuit. Arr. I'm hungry. Damn it. Alright, so... Forewarn tells me about his flame blast, which has a flame burst, which has 70% power. So he doesn't have crunch, I believe. Because if he had crunch, which has 80 power... It would probably warn me about that, because Forewarn tells you about the move with the highest power, but then again, does it calculate stab? Because if it calculates... I'm ranting here. Yeah. So, I just healed a little bit, and now we're going to finish off that monkey with a psychic attack. Yeah, that thing doesn't have crunch, apparently. And if it does, then Chiron's being a moron. Alrighty, and we're back to the same amount of HP we started with. Well, four less than it. Uh, actually, three less than it. Lipar, Dark-type Pokemon. Let's switch out to... Crap, we don't have much against it. Uh, Fluffers, it's up to you. I'm gonna sip my orange juice now. No, it's empty, damn it. Bring on the second orange juice. Yes, I always bring two orange juice boxes, I guess. Yeah, they are kind of box. Juice boxes, right. 
the bad part is I'm already halfway through. I mean, I'm already finished with one. So let's go with takedown. Since Crunch would do half damage, because any move that you use against the same type of Pokemon is going to do half damage. So if you use a fire attack on a fire Pokemon, the fire Pokemon naturally resists fire because it's a master of fire. So it's not going to do as much damage as you would expect. But if it's a fire steel type, then it would probably do normal damage because steel types are weak to it, fire types resist it, so that kind of cancels it out. But if it's Heat Ran, he's got an ability that eats fire, so it doesn't really do anything on Heat Ran. And renting aside, let's finish off this uh, Lipard. Awesome, great job, Fluffers. Sorry about the recoil damage. And now I believe it's one on one. I'm not really sure. It used to display the Pokemon at the bottom, but anyway, let's sound out. Pylan against his water type, who I believe should be a water fighting type, because it learns fighting type attacks. But anyways, he sends out what I believe to be his last Pokemon. Uh, yeah, I think, yep, that's his last Pokemon. So let's just finish this off with a Petal Dance, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't know any Ice Up attacks. And I'm faster than him, apparently. That's a big surprise there. And, ah, uh, yes, we defeated him. Goodbye, Charon, and your giant water otter. Haha. -ha. And Pylan, damn it, Pylan, you're so leveled. You're so high leveled. Ah. Yeah. Alrighty, so he gave us a good amount of cash, and now for some more dialogue. Yep, that, yep, you sure are something else. And I mean that sincerely. Right, now I have to make your Pokemon healthy. Oh, sweet. That is awesome, because my team was injured. Right now, there's no way I can compete with you, Ray. If there's anything I can do to help you with your battle with N, just say so. And Bianca says, Ray. Blah, 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 blah. I only skip um, Bianca because I don't really care for what she... Oh, hey, she gives you some max revives. I could have sworn that were, those were full restores, but didn't she already give you those when you left the city? <gasps> yeah, uh, but I do like what Chirin says because I get to do a voice for it. <laughs> Funny, at a time like this. Oh, crap, I don't even know what she's talking about. Come on, Chirin, could you cheer up for just a minute? Sorry, I had some juice box in my face. Taking everything so seriously. Why would you? Why would you not be serious? Right before the fate of the world is about to be decided by a Pokemon battle at the hands of a twelve-year-old and another. No, I'm not twelve. I'm ten in the game. A ten-year-old and another ten-year-old. Yeah, the fate of the world is in children's hands. Anyways, there are so many truths and ideals as there are Pokemon and people. That's probably true, because the number of Pokemon's never gonna stop. I hope it doesn't end. Anyways, the most, uh, the more, ah, the most important thing is that we help each other out. That's why people in Pokemon work together. That's what I've been thinking of recently. Blah, 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 blah. There should be a skip button for, why is he going that way? Isn't he supposed to go to the victory road with me? Anyways, so, um, she's gonna try and cheer me up, but she fails. So let's go. Can I surf on this water? I cannot. That is all I was thinking of thinking of when these two were talking to me. Oh, hey, an item. Oh, no, a lot of Pokemon. Huh, I forgot to mention, there's actually Herdiers around this route. So if you haven't gotten your team fully made, you could get a level 33 Herdier and level it up a little bit and become a Stoutland, actually, with just one level up. Which actually doesn't make sense, because doesn't it become Stoutland at, like, 32 or something? Anyways, I think that's enough for one episode, so let's just call it a day, and I will rush into the- actually, the gate's right there, so I can probably make it right now. Huh. Nope, victory road next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Question of the day, though, before we go any farther. Is your team full by now? Like, if you're playing the game, or do you remember when you were playing the game? Is your team full right now, in this little point, right before you go into the victory road, is your team full? Because my team is, like, over full, because I got two HM users who aren't even in my team, and then my full team is like six Pokemon. Anyways, that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment on like. Bye!